Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 28th of 2022. Well, it is titled Western Moon Eastern Sea. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of uh, the limb of our moon and looking at some of the different features that we can see here. And up over by the limb just at the top of the image is what is known as Mar Orientale. And that is the eastern sea of the moon. So it is a sea meaning that it is a flattened area. And of course, we know that it is not a water filled area, but is indeed just a area that was eventually carved out by a large impact about 3 billion years ago and then later flooded by lava and filled in giving it a much smoother appearance and the lava that filled it from inside was much darker giving it a much darker appearance so the maria appear far darker than the lighter colored highlands that we see around now it is called the Eastern Sea, even though as we look at it here, it would be on the western limb of the moon, because of the way features on the moon were named back before 1961. At that point, it changed and east and west changed. But this is still called the Eastern Sea based on that or earlier convention. So now the east part of the moon would be on the right hand side and the west part of the moon would be on the left. But we still have the Eastern Sea now on the left side of the moon. Now it's up above the moon and it's up above on around the edge of the moon. It's very difficult to see from Earth because it is right on the limb. Now the moon keeps one side pointing towards Earth, meaning that generally we can only see half of the moon and the other half is facing away from us. However, because the moon undergoes what is called a libration, it also can ch that changes a little bit. So it's not quite true that we only see half of the surface of the moon. Actually, about 60% of the moon's surface is visible over the course of time. So we can see a, a little bit around the edge of the moon. There's certainly 40% of the moon that we cannot see from Earth and need to use satellites or other craft that orbit around the moon to be able to study. But because the moon orbits elliptically, sometimes it goes a little bit faster than it's rotating and sometimes it goes a little bit slower. And that gives us a peak around the edge and allows us to see things that would otherwise be invisible to us. Now it doesn't mean they're easy to see because they're right on the limb of the moon and everything is distorted looking there because it's all kind of stretched out. We will never see them uh, directly in the center of the images and at least could not until we had spacecraft orbiting and mapping the moon in great detail. So now of course we can see the uh, Mare Orientale because it has been mapped by spacecraft. What we can see from Earth is only this type of image when the libration happens to work out right to allow us to see around the edge and see the eastern sea on the western part of the moon. So that was our picture of the day for January 28th of 2022. It was titled Western Moon Eastern Sea. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.